This month, ESA astronaut Frank DeWinner will fly to the International Space Station for a six-month mission named OASIS. During his time on the ISS, he'll be the first ever European commander of the station. Through the professionalism of the European Astronaut Corps and European Astronaut Center, we have now been offered uh, this function. And of course, I'm very glad that uh, I can do it and that also I can help my crewmates and uh, I hope to be a good commander uh, during my stay. Born in Belgium in 1961, Frank de Winner was appointed senior test pilot in the Belgian Air Force and detachment commander of the Deployable Air Task Force during the NATO Operation Allied Force. During his time as a pilot, he has logged more than 2,300 hours flying time and 17 combat sorties. After being recruited by ESA and becoming a member of the European Astronaut Corps in 2000, he started training at the Gagarin and Cosmonaut Training Center in Star City in Russia in 2001 for his first mission to the ISS. The Odessa mission was the winner's first experience in space. Being in space for the first time uh, was very exciting, of course, especially when for the first time you can look outside the, the window and you can see our wonderful planet uh, from space. What is very remarkable is the vulnerability and uh, to see how fragile our planet actually is in this vast universe. During his nine days on board the space station, De Winner successfully carried out a program of experiments in the fields of life and physical sciences and educational activities. On his return, he was awarded an honorary title by the Belgian King, who recently visited the Astronaut Center in Germany to see how De Winner was getting on in preparation for his new mission. The OASIS mission is a first for the European Space Agency in different ways. Not only will De Winner be leading the crew, but also the ISS will enlarge its onboard team to six people for the first time. This presents challenges for the new European commander. Well, you live with uh, six people in a confined environment for six months. Uh, you have all different nationalities, different cultures, uh, different characters. And of course, making this one group, one team that works together towards the same goal is the biggest challenge. To prepare for the OASIS mission, De Winner has gone through a long and intensive period of training. In his role as commander, he has to be aware of all aspects of the running of the ISS, so he must take part in training activities in Germany, Japan, Houston, and the Gagarin Cosmonaut Center in Star City, Russia. Uh, from here, the whole station can be operated and commanded. Usually we have a laptop, like you have seen in class. There is a Russian laptop standing here and an American laptop standing there. And so from both of those laptops, we can command the entire space station. His crewmates for the flight to the ISS aboard the Russian Soyuz spacecraft will be Russian cosmonaut Roman Romanenko and Canadian Space Agency astronaut Robert Thirsk. To prepare for their time aboard the ISS, the crew must take part in all sorts of simulated emergency situations for which they train in Russian, a language in which the winner is fluent. Apart from carrying out an extensive scientific program during the six-month period that he spends in space, De Winner will also be operating the station's robotic arms, again a skill requiring specialized training. As Europe's first commander to the International Space Station, in terms of training, Frank De Winner is well prepared for his trip to the ISS, but six months in space is a large slice out of anyone's life. We are very excited to fly and to be in space for six months and to live and work together with our colleagues for six months on the International Space Station. Of course, we are also a little bit sad that we have to leave all the goodies, leave all the goodies that we have here on Earth uh, behind us. First of all, of course, uh, wife, family, friends, uh, but also things that we enjoy. Uh, in daily life, uh, taking a shower, uh, having good food, having a glass of wine, all this we will have to leave for six months, but I, I think it will still be a worthwhile experience. Frank De Winner's long-term stay as commander on the ISS constitutes another step in his full and challenging life, as well as marking a new phase in which Europe becomes one of the leading partners in human space exploration.